Now secondary diagram for concave lens. The object is placed anywhere in front of the lens. Okay, so the first thing is your principal axis. Okay, then the lens. Draw a perpendicular line to the principal axis. Okay, then we are going to mark the lens in the same way as we did in the previous diagram. Okay, keep the protractor with 90 degrees line coinciding the principal axis. Okay, and then draw these two curves. This is going to give you the convex uh, concave lens. Okay, then from the optical center on the either side, mark two points at a distance three centimeters each. These points are going to be our foci. Okay, then again from optical center at a distance six centimeters each. On the either side, I'm going to mark center of curvatures, which is going to be two f. Okay, now. I'm going to draw the object. Okay, the object is anywhere in front of the lens. Okay, you can draw the object anywhere. So this is your object. Now I'm going to draw the rays from these objects. Okay, from this point, I'm going to draw a ray that is parallel to the principal axis. Okay. Now any ray that is parallel to the principal axis has to pass through F. Since this is a concave lens that is a diverging lens, our F will be on the left side. Okay, so from here, I'm going to join through this point. Okay, and I'm going to draw this ray. Now the second ray that is there, okay, from this point, I'm going to join through the optical center. This ray, as it is passing through the optical center, it is going to pass without suffering any deviation. Okay. Now, first I'm going to mark the direction in which the rays are traveling. Okay. This is our object. That will be marked as AB. Through A, I have drawn a ray parallel to the principal axis. Okay. This ray passes through the focus and the ray's direction will be marked this way. The second ray is passing from A. It is traveling towards the optical center. Okay, it is going to go straight without suffering any deviation. Now you can see where both of these rays, that is the gray colored ray and the green colored rays are meeting. That is going to mark the position of the image. Okay, so this is the position of the image. This will be marked as A dash B dash. Okay, so you can put down the characteristics of the image. First is nature. Okay, it is, you can see it is virtual and erect. Okay, its position is between focus and optical center. Okay, that is on the same side of the lens. And size, you can compare. You can see the size of the object. It is smaller than that. So here the size of the image is diminished. Okay.